this gathering is to create further awareness about about Israel and about what's happening right now um, from the Palestinians that are attacking us, um, that are attacking us Israelis um, in our homeland. There have been over 150 um, counted attacks already in the past, you know, four or five weeks. And so this is something that I feel that we needed. We needed as a community, as as a nation, to come together and show support. But we're showing support for Israel. Why, why is it necessary to have a gathering like this on the day before Prime Minister Netanyahu meets with President Obama at the White House? It would be great if people all over the country and the world was doing it, to put spotlight on Obama in the United States. In the last eight weeks, 11 people and over 160 Israelis, not just Jews, were injured. So if anybody wants to come read the names, come over here, down, but I'll start reading them in the meanwhile. September 15, 2015, Erev Rosh Hashanah, Alexander Leblovich was killed in a car accident as a result of rocket throwers in Jerusalem's so Bob and Steve neighborhood. And Nama Henking, 31 and 30, from Neria, were murdered in front of their four children by terrorists who opened fire towards their vehicle as they were driving between Itamar and Elon More. Abbas Fatah Brigade that carry out the Hankins murder handed out candy as celebration. <laughs> Rabbi Ye Ye Shiaou Klishevsky, 59, was run over by a terrorist in the Geula neighborhood of Jerusalem. Minutes after the attack, a car and knife attack took place on Machle Israel Street, where Chaim Habib, 78, Israeli American Richard Lakin, 76, and Alon Gufbelg were killed on a Jerusalem bus in a modern Two, two Arab terrorists, one armed with a knife and the other with a gun, took over the bus and locked the passengers inside. If I ask your people today, how many rockets do you think have been fired from Gaza towards Israel ever since Israel gave land for peace in August 2005? Over 24,000 rockets being fired from Gaza towards Israel since giving land for peace. Israel is the only country in modern history that ever gave land for peace after winning a war. I have drawings here of children drawing their expressions on drawings, showing their first exp expressions being under rocket, falling first thing in the morning. It's amazing how every single person in this town and community has the experience of a rocket exploding nearby. Again, this became the only region in the entire Western world having rockets, missiles being fired and threatening civilian population for the past decade. I just want to, for me to capture this unique experience like no other place in the world where somehow became acceptable. Where, what other place in the world do you have a kindergarten, a playground, and a bomb shelter in the same photograph? Well, the root of the problem is, is the whole, starts with the education aspect. A whole generation that have been who, exposed. The, uh, the Palestinian Arabs' education in Gaza and the West Bank, Judea and Samaria, East how, Jerusalem. How are they being educated? In the school books, they do not recognize the Jews having the right for the Jews of the country. There's no history of the Jews in this country, uh, calling for incitement, worshipping different uh, terrorism, uh, glorifying uh, different uh, terrorists that killed who knows how many, how many uh, civilians, naming schools, football matches under their names. That's basically glorifying terrorism. That's the ideology of radical Islam that for a Western mind, a little hard to understand what that actually means today. And that money is coming mainly from Western countries today, on top of the American, the, the, uh, the, the American State, State Department. Now, people have been going months back and forth about the Iranian deal, about the nuclear uh, power and all that, but people are forgetting you have between 100 and 150 billion dollars assets for Iran, okay, being unfrozen. Who knows what kind of percentage of that goes directly to terrorism, we're the first ones to be exposed to that. Israeli. The Israelis, of course, on the Gaza border especially. So that's something that people did not put into account or about hundreds, over a hundred billion dollars of assets of Iran. Who knows, as we said, how much, uh, how much of that actually goes directly into terrorism itself. So that's one of the major, major deals that we're dealing with today, uh, how this puts Israel completely under threat. And by the way, while this is actually happening with the Iranian deal, all of a sudden you have the Arab world exodus towards Europe. Why now, not six years ago? The exodus? The exodus. Exodus of the Arab world uh, uh, coming up from 
the Middle East towards... How, how much of those Syrian refugees do you feel may be uh, infiltrators for political gain? Yeah, well, it's, uh, it's a known fact that in Istanbul, the, the, the favorite uh, uh, passport today is a Syrian passport. If, you, if you're going to be a refugee, you should be a Syrian refugee. I just came back from Finland, Sweden, Ireland, and Northern Ireland. Sweden is the only country in the world that gives us status, st status for, uh, for refugees for life. You could stay here for life. And it's causing a huge problems today, having uh, up to 2,000 people per day uh, are entering uh, the country itself. We know for a fact this is the uh, beginning of the end of Europe as we know it today. And seeing it with my own eyes is something amazing as well, how what's happening in our region is shifting so fast. And unfortunately, again, this whole uh, two-state illusion that unfortunately has been embedded to people's minds and hearts throughout the world, and that Jewish communities as well, is something uh, tremendous. We have to be saying that we have every single right just to live here in peace and security as Jews, as Israelis. We should be strong, having a stronger stand, saying that we should be doing, do, do what's right for our own people, first of all. Well, the help that we need from the American public is to show that the incitement that goes on within the Palestinian Authority, within the Fatah, and within Hamas is not okay. We need to show on social media that social media campaigns that the that Israel is not the aggressor, that Israel is defending herself, that innocent people also, regardless of their religion, Jews and non-Jews, an Eritrean uh, migrant was also killed in the last wave of terror. So uh, we want to show that not just Jews are being victims here, all Israelis, just simply for the fact that they're Israelis. So we would like the support of the American public. Go online, write your local congressman, tell them to stop funding the PA, to stop funding Hamas, because all that money goes to the wrong and in the wrong education and indoctrinization of poor Palestinian children who don't know any better. It comes out of Isaiah. Listen, Israel. Listen. Israel, rise, arise, shine, for your light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people but the Lord Hashem shall arise upon you and his glory shall be seen upon you. And check this out. And the Gentiles shall come to thy light and the kings to the brightness of thy rising. It is prophesied that, that one day the Goyim from every city shall reach forth and grab the garment of a Jew and say, Jew, I am with you because I have heard that God is with you. Do you believe that? Yeah. Yeah. I am with you. I am with you. And my people are with you. I learned of you. I learned of Jews. I learned of Israel from my mom. That's where I learned. Your light is bright. Let it shine. I don't want to spend time talking about how bad the, those guys over there are. But one thing I want to say is this. They call themselves Palestinian. They are not Palestinian. You are the true Palestinian. They are the occupiers. You, Israel, stand up and let your light shine. Start saying, you're the Palestinians. They are the fakes. They're trying to steal your identity. If you don't know who you are, if you don't identify yourself, other people will identify you. They're trying to steal your blessing. Stand up, let your light shine, blind them. Don't let that happen. What kind of... Uh anti-Semitic sentiment do you feel that the a new Arab Muslim migrants into Europe will bring to their societies? Well it's a known fact that when it what happens in Israel it kills all around the world especially in Europe countries I mean it's very easy taking the last uh, military operation in Gaza summer 2014 protective edge you are seeing the outcome the results the media propaganda war on this border how this impacts especially in European countries of course, the first ones to be threatened are the Jewish communities themselves by the Arab Muslim populations. He's, he's with the, look, he's with the brotherhood, let's face it. You know, the American people don't want to admit, the man is, the Bible says you know them by their fruit. If it walks like a duck, talks like a duck, is a leg like a duck, he can call himself Christian, Jew, Muslim, whatever, it's a duck.
This cat is not one of us. And he does care, he cares nothing for Israel, nothing. I'm protection, Who, who's America protecting in the Iran deal? They're, they're, protecting, they're protecting the Muslims, man. They're protecting Iran, of course. I mean, it doesn't take, a fourth grader can figure this out. But political correct speech refuses for people to say that. We've got to stop it. That's what I was saying earlier about being Jews. Stand up, stand up. To, we're, we're the Palestinians. Jews are the Israelis are the Palestinians. Those people are Arab Muslims. I mean, they are the minute, occupiers. One minute, one minute, we got minute, to own minute, that which please. is ours. You feel like the Jews here are uh, willfully blind to what's going on? I don't know about these particular brothers and sisters here, because they're out here, man. They're fighting. They're standing up. But I think the majority of, um, of Jewish people around the world really don't understand who they are. If they understood who they were, things would be quite the way that they are. And that's what's Hashem. If we don't stand up, listen, I was talking to this young man here earlier, and he gets it. This is not an economic or political war. This is a religious, spiritual war. That's, and we, did not Hashem show himself to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob and Israel first? So if we rely on Hashem, we can beat the moon god. And we'll win the rest of the Gilliam and everybody else on our side. Blessings, man. Good to see you. But do you feel that the uh, EU and Washington are aligned against Israel's interests? EU? You, you European? Oh, absolutely. You heard me say it up there. Blessings to you, my brother. Shalom. You heard me say up there earlier when I said for the last 2,000 years, European Christians have been persecuting Jews because they don't believe in Jesus Christ as Messiah, and they gave them the right to murder and plunder and kill. And as long as Jews and Israel remained on the page of the Bible, it was great. <laughs> great Israeli supporters. But as soon as Israel jumped off the page of the Bible and went to the land of its nativity, uh-oh, they have a problem. I thought God cursed the Jews. Uh-oh, we got a problem. Does not the Bible say Israel shall be the head of all nations and not the tail? Uh-oh. <laughs> there goes the theology. <laughs> last week, uh, last week the, uh, the fake Palestinians came through and they did the same thing, but they were walking down the street. They had everything blocked off. So no doubt, it's upsetting to people, but I think the majority of the American people out there don't mind this because it's for Israel. Obama wouldn't like it, but I think the American people out there like this. When they see all these white Israeli flags out here, whatnot, yeah. blue, I think they go right on Israel. Remember the Israelites went into the land of Canaan and he said, he said, look, I'll go before you, trust me, go in there and take the land, and they doubted, except for Josh and Caleb. We, have, we cannot do that. If, if God says he's for us, it's in the Torah, then we need to start acting like it. If we don't act like it, he's going to say, okay, cool. I'll be here when you get back. When we, when we exercise that spiritual faith again, that's when, that's when he'll bust all these other people like Obama and different ones up like that. I'm more worried about them poor Arabs out there that are dying by the hands of ISIS and those Christians that are being wiped out by the hands of ISIS. That's... I fear for those poor people. In, in Iran? Iran's going to go down too. All of them are going to go down. Hezbollah, Al Qaeda, um, what's that other one? Hamas, uh, Boko Haram. All them cats are going down. That's what I'm predicting. It's, not a, it was, it's the Bible. Whoever touches Israel touches the apple of God's eye. And you don't want to be poking your finger in God's eye, boy. <laughs> Shalom, Hashem. Shalom, Shalom.